Lesson 77. In this lesson, we learn yet another new noun, and that's in cola. Let's jump right into our exercises. In exercise one, S is the verb, in cola is the subject, and insulae is in the genitive singular, and that's possessing in cola. So number one will say, you are an inhabitant of the island. In number two, sunt is the verb, and since it comes first in the sentence, that makes me suspect that it could be translated as there are. Incoli is in the nominative case, and it's the subject. And in insulis is a prepositional phrase that means on the islands. So number two will say, there are inhabitants on the islands. In number three, natant is the verb. That means they are swimming. But we don't need the word they because incoli is the subject. Insularum is in the genitive plural, and that's possessing incoli. In aqua is a prepositional phrase that means in the water. So number three will say, the inhabitants of the islands are swimming in the water. In number four, spectant is the verb. That means they watch or they are watching but we don't need the word they because nautai is the subject. Inkolas is the direct object, that's in the accusative plural, and insulai is in the genitive singular, and that's possessing inkolas. So number four will say, the sailors are watching the inhabitants of the island. In number five, ambulant is the verb, that means they walk or they are walking, but we don't need the word they because incoli is the subject. Silwai is in the genitive singular, and that's possessing incoli. Ad octam is a prepositional phrase that means to the seashore, and cotidie means daily. So number five will say, the inhabitants of the forest walk to the seashore daily. In number six, amant is the verb, that means they like or they love, but we don't need the word they because incoli is the subject. Silwai is in the genitive singular, and it's possessing incoli. Fabulas is the direct object. So number six says, the inhabitants of the forest love stories. In number seven, desiderat is the verb. That means he, she, or it wants, or he, she, or it is longing for. But we don't need the he, she, or it because familia is the subject. Poetai is in the genitive singular, and that's possessing familia. Patrium is the direct object. So number seven will read like this. The family of the poet is longing for the homeland. Or the poet's family is longing for the homeland. In number eight, portant is the verb. That means they carry or they are carrying, but we don't need the word they because puellae is the subject. Tabulas is the direct object. Ad scolam is a prepositional phrase that means to school, and cotidie means daily. The girls carry writing tablets to school daily. In number nine, ambulant is the verb, puellae is the subject. And in kasam is a prepositional phrase that means into the house. We know that in means into because the object of the preposition is in the accusative case. So number nine will read, the girls are walking into the house. In number 10, nawagas is the verb that means you are sailing. Cum nautis is a prepositional phrase that means with the sailors. And ad insulam is a prepositional phrase that means to the island. So number 10 will say, you are sailing with the sailors to the island.